Welcome back to the Watchlist series, where we'll be taking a look at three players who've become future transfer targets after impressing over the weekend. Philip Coutinho made a dream start to life at Aston Villa, proving the catalyst for a comeback from two goals down after his introduction in the 68th minute. He wriggled through the United defence to indirectly set up Jacob Ramsey, who halved the deficit, before the pair linked up again for Coutinho to score a last minute equaliser. No player landed more than his two shots on target during the match. The Brazilian took three touches in the opposition's penalty box, which equates to an average of 12.3 per 90 minutes. Whilst that's a very small sample, that number ranks him top amongst Aston Villa players this season. Their next four opponents, Everton, Leeds, Newcastle and Watford, each rank amongst the bottom five teams for goals conceded in their last six matches. And there remains the potential for them to get a double game at 23, where they'd face either Burnley or Leeds. Also making his Aston Villa debut this weekend was former Everton left-back Luca Dina. Despite conceding two goals and receiving a yellow card, the Frenchman quietly impressed. He took two shots, with one effort forcing a good save from David De Gea, and fashioned two attempted assists, with only Buendia producing more amongst teammates. Trusted with a share of set pieces, Dina took one of Villa's three corners against United and one of their two indirect free kicks. He's yet to record an assist this season, having produced 17 in the past two seasons, but ranks amongst the top six defenders for attempted assists, with 24. Steven Gerrard's side have kept just one clean sheet in their last four matches, but only five teams have conceded fewer big chances. In the same period, three of their next four opponents, Everton, Watford and Newcastle, rank amongst the bottom seven teams for goals and big chances. Whilst it was hat-trick hero Jack Harrison who grabbed the headlines for Leeds this weekend, Rafinha was instrumental throughout, as he so often is. Shortly after setting up his side's third goal, he was unfortunate to see a second assist ruled out when Mateus Klick's strike rushed Rodrigo on its way in, with the forward standing in an offside position. Rafinha carved out a game-week high total of seven attempted assists against West Ham, including two big chances created. Adding another string to his bow, the Brazilian has recently taken over penalty duties, converting three times from the spot in his last seven appearances, though it remains to be seen whether he'll keep hold of the responsibility once Patrick Bamford returns from injury. Leeds face Newcastle, Aston Villa and Everton in the next three game weeks, and also have the possibility of playing twice in game week 23, should their home tie with Aston Villa be rescheduled there.